Hi guys, uh, good evening and a very warm welcome here. Paras, Darshini, Priya, Shivani, Priya, Direndra, Paras, good evening. Reasoning Hoga, first English, then Quant, absolutely Paras. So guys, we are having the marathon sessions today onwards. So, today you have a marathon session. So, at 4 baje, we will be having reasoning. 5 p.m. we will be having English and 6 p.m. we will be having Quant. The difference, right? This was the same pattern. The difference is that you don't have to go anywhere. This is going to continue. This particular class is going to continue for 3 hours, right? So, next 3 hours, you have to stay here. Nitya, very good evening. Sandeep, Yashoda, very good evening. Uh, Baba Leshwar, very good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. So, chalo shuru karte hain ka session, but usse pehle ek small request that is please share the stream once with your friends as well so that they know that the class has started. Sabse ek baar share kar do session ko. Ayush, very good evening. Pawan, good evening. And yes, do like the session. So, jitne log online dekh rahe ho session ko, please jaldi se like or share kar do. Thik hai, session ko. Okay. I hope that you have already downloaded the uh, Olive Board app. अगर अभी तक आप डाउनलोड नहीं किया है, तो go to the description link directly दे रखा है आपको डाउनलोड करने का, ठीक है? And also I hope that you have subscribed to the official channel. If you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe for the regular classes and updates about these classes, right? Ayush, Kan, Kanchi, Prachi, Neha, very good evening. So ready for the first question, everyone? चलो. So first question is there on your screen. Now this is based on your Designations, ठीक है? तो designations पे base question है, जल्दी से इसको try करिए। So eight persons seated around a square table facing the center, ठीक है? तो जल्दी से देखो, let's see how this particular question has to be done, ठीक है? Try this out, let's see. So everybody is facing the center, ठीक है? आप लोग जल्दी से इसको solve करिए। I'll just make the diagram here, फिर इसको बाद में solve करेंगे। Good evening, Praveen. Guys, इसको जल्दी से solve करिए. A very nice question here based on designations and seating arrangement. बहुत ज़्यादा difficult कुछ नहीं है. Okay. So, Darshini has completed. Darshini, absolutely great work. Can you tell me the designations for W? W का designation बताओगे? What is the designation of W?
okay md so w is the md okay Mus muskan is also getting md darshini md ayush md done prachi md aise sab ka md aa raha hai aur yahan par corners pe kon kon baithe hain who are the ones who are seated at the corners the four people seated at the corners okay paras is also getting md prachi md corners pe kon kon hai char log Muskan, tell me the people who are at the corners. Okay, we are SP. W, P, U, Q. Okay, we are getting different answers here. Anyone else? Okay, W, P, U, Q. Okay, Muskan, एक बार check करना यहाँ पर शायद answer अलग आ रहा है. ठीक है, एक बार check करना. चलो, W, P, U, Q. Okay, that should be the answer. Okay, we'll we'll check it out. ठीक है, देखते हैं क्या दे रखा है. So you can see that eight people. Having different different designations, they are seated along a square table such that one person is at each of the corners and one person along each of the sides, and these people are facing the center. सब कोई center की तरफ देख रहे हैं, ठीक है? And their designations are given such that chairman is of the highest designation and clerk is of the lowest designation, ठीक है? अब S is at the edge. Edge मतलब side, okay? Be careful. Edge मतलब क्या होता है? Side होता है. So S is seated along the edge. And is to the immediate right of SM, ठीक है? Senior manager, तो ये SM हो गया, ठीक है? So this is their Sakshi, very good evening. After that, the manager is seated second to the right of S. तो manager किधर होगा? Manager will be this person, ठीक है? ये manager हो गया, okay? After that, let's see what is given. Then we have the MD seated adjacent to T and opposite to his immediate senior. तो यहाँ पर देखो क्या दे रखा है MD has to be adjacent to T to T and he has to be opposite to his immediate senior that is your CEO क्योंकि MD से immediate senior कौन है CEO है तो MD should be adjacent to T उसका neighbour होगा and opposite किसके होगा CEO के होगा ठीक है after that what is given R is seated to the immediate left of CEO and second to the right of manager so we can place your R and CEO here because R has to be second to the left of CEO. So you can see this will be the arrangement. So R is second to the left of e CEO and second to the right of manager. Now if CEO has got us, so we can place this manager MD and this one also. Okay, manager is uh, this one. MD is adjacent to T and opposite to Im uh, immediate his senior. So here it was that MD had to be opposite to CEO. मतलब MD कहाँ होना चाहिए? You can see here, the MD is adjacent to T and opposite to his immediate senior. अच्छा चलो एक बार चेक कर लेते हैं. Then we have this one. R is seated to the immediate left of CEO. अच्छा immediate left है CEO के ना? ये गड़बड़ कर दिया था. चलो. So R is immediate left of CEO and second to the left of second to the right of manager. ठीक है? Is this mains level? No, 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 Vaishnavi, this is not mains level. This is your prelims level that you can expect, right? This will be done in one or two cases, not more than that. Huh. So you can see this is your CEO. Now CEO has to be a neighbor of T and also opposite to his immediate one who is higher designation. So CEO ka immediate designation higher kon hai? Chairman hai, right? You can see here. That, sorry, MD has to be neighboring uh, the T and has to be immediate uh, opposite to the one who is his immediate neighbor, uh, senior. So that means CEO and MD will be opposite to each other. That means this will be your MD here. And also you can see here that MD had to be adjacent to T, right? So MD is adjacent tha? T is adjacent tha? Yaha par S already hai. That means T will be the manager here. Theek hai? So you can see this is the type of situation that we are getting currently. आगे देखते हैं what is given <coughs> then we have Q is immediate junior of T you can see T is the manager ठीक है T क्या है manager है अब manager से just junior कौन है you can see this is deputy manager this is manager manager से just नीचे PO है so that means your this person this Q has to be what Q has to be your PO ठीक है Q क्या होगा PO होगा so you can see QPO can be here. QPO can be here because it has to be placed uh, uh, like this only. Ki Q or PO saath mein hoga. Now Q is immediate junior of T and is seated third to the left of V 
वी इज एडजस्टेंट टू हिज इमीजिएट जूनियर ठीक है इसको देखते हैं अगर क्यू ये है राइट लेट्स से क्यू इज दिस पर्सन तो क्यू हैज टू बी थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ वी सो वी यहाँ पर होगा एंड इट इज गिवेन वी इज सीटेड एडजस्टेंट टू हिज इमीजिएट जूनियर मतलब एम डी हैज टू बी वी अगर एम डी है सो दैट मीन्स ही हैज टू बी नेबरिंग द सी ओ बट दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल क्योंकि सी ओ तो यहाँ पर है That means Q Q cannot be this person, so Q has to be this this person, person, so so has to 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 here, right? So Q is this one who is your CEO. He is third to the left of V, so V will be this person, and V is neighboring his immediate junior. अब CEO किसका immediate junior है या तो chairman का junior है और अगर ये आप senior manager ले रहे हो तो मतलब senior manager V MD डी होना चाहिए था बट एम डी तो यहाँ पर है दैट मीन्स वी कौन होगा वी हैज टू बी चेयरमैन हेयर So you can see we will be the chairman. ठीक है ये आ गया अब आगे क्या दे रखा है डी एम इज सीटेड सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ चेयरमैन सो यू कैन सी कहा गया द डी एम इज सीटेड सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ चेयरमैन सो डी एम इज सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ चेयरमैन विल बी लाइक दिस ये डी एम हो गया नाउ वट इज गिवन वी इज सीटेड ये हो गया आर इज सीटेड टू द इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ यू सो आर हैज टू बी इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ यू कहाँ पर आएगा आर इज सीटेड इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ यू वॉट हैपन कुछ तो गड़बड़ हुआ है लेफ्ट ऑफ वी ये तो ठीक है कुछ गड़बड़ कर दिया है क्या यू इज द सी यू आर इज सीटेड इमीजिए अच्छा आर तो प्लेस कर दिया है आई एम फाइंडिंग टू आई एम सो सॉरी यस आई वॉज फाइंडिंग टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव वेकेंट प्लेसेस आर तो यहाँ पर ऑलरेडी है यस सो आर इज सीटेड इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ यू विल बी लाइक दिस एंड ऑपोजिट टू क्लर्क सो आर इज ऑपोजिट टू क्लर्क यू कैन सी दिस विल बी दन ठीक है सो ये हो गया ना पी इज सीटेड सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ डब्लू यू कैन सी पी सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ डब्लू विल बी लाइक दिस तो ये हो गया फाइनल है ना गुड इवनिंग रघुनाथ so you can see although this questions look question looks like a very difficult one क्यों कि designation दे रखा है but you can see this can be completed just by one case right एक ही case बना है ठीक है so एक case में आपका पूरा question solve हो गया that is why this is a prelims level question not a mains level question mains में ये नहीं आएगा mains में अगर आएगा तो this will be having two three four cases right ah uh, Guys, are we not able to hear? Please let me know, ma'am. Can you place your mic in middle? Uh, guys, are we able to hear? Please let me know. कुछ uh, audible नहीं है क्या? Are we having a audio issue here? All clear. Okay, चलो. Next question on your screen. Let's have a look at this one. Audible, ma'am. Okay. चलो. ठीक है. So next question on your screen. Let's try this out. I hope everybody has liked the session, guys. तो जिसने भी session को like नहीं किया है जल्दी से like जरूर कर देना ठीक है Session को like कर दो जल्दी से guys. And let's solve this one. This is a very doable question. Absolutely prelims. Only one thing that you have to do is placement of these टेन things, right? टेन crops you have to make in two different rows. One row facing the north, another facing the south. done okay 
सो क्विकली टेल मी वॉट इज ऑपोजिट टू मस्टर्ड मस्टर्ड के ऑपोजिट क्या है आयुष कैन बी कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज ऑपोजिट टू मस्टर्ड मस्टर्ड के ऑपोजिट कौन सा क्रॉप है मेज ओके एनी वन एल्स हुज कंप्लीटेड दर्शनी ऑल्सो गेटिंग मेज आयुष गेटिंग मेज शिवानी मेज चलो ठीक है ट्राई करते हैं राइट लेट्स चेक इट आउट मेज सागर ऑल्सो शिवानी यस एब्सोल्यूटली सो मेज वुड बी द राइट आंसर मुस्कान मेज बिल्कुल बहुत ही ईजी सा क्वेश्चन है यू जस्ट हैव टू प्लेस दीज टेन क्रॉप हियर इन टू डिफरेंट रोज ठीक है क्या दे रखा है ओनली टू प्लांट आर प्लांटेड बिटवीन कॉफी एंड कॉटन जूट इज प्लांटेड एडजस्टेंट टू टी एंड इज नॉट ऑपोजिट टू कॉफी वीट इज प्लांटेड समवेयर टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ बार्ली एंड इज ऑपोजिट टू कॉटन विच इज प्लेस इन द रो फेसिंग साउथ सो यू कैन सी वी हैव दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट कॉटन इज प्लांटेड इन अ रो फेसिंग साउथ ठीक है Now only two plants are there between coffee and cotton. So coffee and co cotton के बीच में one, two, three, four. There has to be only two plants, right? So you can see only two plants are there between coffee and cotton. And we have jute is planted adjacent to tea and not opposite to coffee. ठीक है? So you can see, let's say coffee, cotton. ठीक है? Similarly, cotton. ये So you can see either wheat and barley can be here because wheat is immediate. Wheat is somewhere to the left of barley. So if cotton is here, wheat will be here, and wheat and barley will be here. That's a possibility. If cotton is here, then wheat will be here, and if wheat is here, barley can be anywhere towards the right hand side. Okay. So wheat is planted somewhere to the left of barley and is planted opposite to cotton. Barley is planted third to the left of maize, right? So you can see that barley has to be third to the left of maize. That means barley has to be this one only, right? Right. So barley is third to the left of maize. So you can see here that bar barley is planted third to the left of maize. Done, and it is given wheat is planted somewhere to the left of barley. So wheat has to be somewhere to the left of barley. That means your wheat will be here. ठीक है कुछ इस तरह से बनेगा. ओके, सो नाउ जस्ट मैच इट हियर, ओके, चलो, सो यू कैन सी देर आर टू प्लांट्स बिटवीन कॉफी एंड कॉटन राइट वी हैव गॉट दीज प्लांट्स आर फेसिंग द नॉर्थ दीज प्लांट्स आर फेसिंग द साउथ नाउ इट इज गिवन वीट इज समवेयर टू द यू कैन सी वीट इज प्लेस समवेयर टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ बार्ली समवेयर है तो कहीं भी हो सकता है नॉट नेसेसरी की इमीजिएट लेफ्ट है एंड इज प्लांटेड ऑपोजिट टू कॉटन दैट मीन्स यू कैन सी दैट वीट हैज टू बी ऑपोजिट टू कॉटन राइट Wheat has to be opposite to cotton. मतलब ये जो cotton and coffee हमने किया है ना ये इधर आना चाहिए. Because it is given that wheat has to be. There are two informations about wheat here. That is, wheat is somewhere to the left of barley and is opposite to cotton. So you can see cotton will be here. ठीक है? You have cotton here. So if cotton is here, that means your coffee will be towards this side. ठीक है? So one, two. This will be your coffee. ठीक है ये आ गया अब क्या बचा है देख लेते हैं बार्ली इज थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ मेज दैट इज डन ठीक है देन मस्टर्ड इज प्लांटेड एडजस्टेंट टू कॉफी सो मस्टर्ड हैज टू बी एडजस्टेंट टू कॉफी कैन बी एनी वेयर ठीक है नाउ व्हाट इज गिवन मस्टर्ड इज एडजस्टेंट टू कॉफी ओनली टू प्लांट्स आर देयर बिटवीन योर रबर एंड मस्टर्ड सो यहां पर मस्टर्ड किया तो रबर को प्लेस नहीं कर पाओगे दैट मींस मस्टर्ड हैज टू बी दिस वन So there are two plants between your mustard and rubber. One, two, rubber will be here. Okay. Now we had a negative information about tea here. That is, jute is placed adjacent to tea and is not opposite to coffee. So jute cannot be opposite to coffee. So jute has to be here. If jute is here, that means it has to be adjacent to tea. So you can see tea will be here, and whatever is remaining will be placed in here. यहाँ पर क्या बचा है? You can see tea is remaining, so tea will be here. Are we clear, everybody? Are we clear? ये समझ में आया कि नहीं? Everybody clear? 
साउंड इज लो साउंड लो है गाइज आर यू नॉट एबल टू हियर आर वी हैविंग इशू इन द साउंड गाइज चलो मैम प्लेस यू माइक बिलो द चिन हाँ अभी तो कर लिया अभी ठीक है इज इट नाउ ऑडिबल चलो सो एवरीबडी नाउ ओके एवरीबडी गेटिंग द सेम अरेंजमेंट वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन लेट्स क्विकली प्लेस दीज पीपल सो देर आर एट पीपल सीटेड अराउंड अ सर्क्यूलर टेबल राइट Let's quickly find their arrangement. Let's see. So some of them are facing towards the center, while some of them are facing away from the center. Let's find. Okay, Gopinath is also getting the same answer here. Chalo, let's try this out. Let's see. done so who are the ones who are facing the cent facing away from the center yahan par away from the center kon kon hai done okay p k n f parul kartik and fida okay vijay also isha carol and vijay p k n f vijay also okay p k v n f okay chalo theek hai check karte right let's try it out let's see how this particular question has to be done so it is given eight persons are seated around a circular table some of them are facing towards the center while some of them are facing away from the center theek hai it is not known that not more than right more than two persons seated consecutively are not facing the same uh, direction that means let's say if two people are facing the center to unka neighbor kabhi bhi center nahi dekhega wo opposite to center dekhega because not more than right it is given it is more it is known that more than two people seated consecutively matlab three persons or four persons they cannot be facing the same direction theek hai to ye ek important information hai let's check so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 theek hai kya de rakha hai 
Now Anju is seated second to the right of Parul. Parul is seated immediate left of Hira who is facing towards the center. So Hira is facing the center here. Let's say this is your Hira. Right? Ye Hira hai. So now we have Parul is seated immediate left of Hira. So Parul will be here. Right? This has to be Parul. And what is related to Parul? Anju is second to the right of Parul. So you can see either Anju can be here or Anju can be here. Either of the two cases based on Parul's position. Ab par aur kya de rakha hai? Let's see. Fida is seated third to the right of Hira. So you can see one, two, three. This has to be Fida. Because Hira to aapka center mein dekh hai. So Fida is third to the left of Hira. Uh, seated third to the right of Hira. Sorry. So Fida is third to the right of Hira and second to the left of Karthik. So you can see that Fida has to be second to the left of Karthik. Now again Karthik can be here or Karthik can be here. So you can understand that Anju and Karthik have to be here only. Yehi dono positions to hai Anju and Karthik ke liye. Right? Because Parul ke second left mein aapko place karna hai Anju ko. So either this or this. And similarly Karthik bhi ya to yaha par hoga ya fir yaha par hoga. So you can place your Karthik and Anju here. Thik hai? Inko baad mein dekhenge kidar aega. Now what is given? Let's try. Isha is seated opposite to Vijay and they are facing opposite direction. So, kahan par place karoge? Idhar hi kar sakte ho. That is, Isha and Vijay have to be here. Thik hai? So, Isha is seated opposite to Vijay. They are facing opposite directions done. Carol is seated second to the right of Isha. So, Carol has to be second to the right of Isha. So, yahan bhi nahi ho sakta. Yahan bhi nahi ho sakta. There is only one possibility that Carol has to be here. Okay? So, Carol is seated second to the right of Isha. Anju and Isha are facing the same direction. That means, Anju and Isha have to be facing the same direction. Carol and Karthik do not face towards the same direction. So, Carol and Karthik, you can see, Carol and Karthik are also opposite direction. Vijay and Hira are facing towards opposite direction. Hira ka hume center pata hai. So, you can place your Vijay also. That is, Vijay and Hira are facing opposite direction. So, Hira is facing towards the center. So, Vijay has to be opposite to uh, the center, right? So, you can see Vijay has to be opposite to the center. That means here, one of them will be facing Vijay is facing, let's say, if Vijay, right? Let's do one thing. This is your Hira. This is your Parul, right? We have your C here and K, A, R are here. And this is your E and V. And this is your F. Okay. Now, here are two possibilities. Hai. Let's try. So, let's say in one case, we are placing your V here and your E here. Okay. E or V can be placed in one case. In one case, mein, you can place your V here and your E here, either of the two cases. Now, Vijay and Hira have to be facing opposite direction. So, Hira is facing the center. So, this, uh, sorry, this is your V, right? So, Vijay has to be facing opposite the direction. Here also, Hira is facing the center. Vijay will be opposite. They are facing the opposite directions it is given. So, that means E will be facing the center here. Yahan par bhi E center mein dekhega. Thik hai? Now, Carol is second to the right of Isha. Okay. So, Carol is second to the right of Isha, but in this case, mein you can see that Carol is second to the left. That means this case is invalid. This will be invalid. Ho uh, how to choose the first pair and where to start? Since in this particular question, we have started from Hira because we have a definite information about Hira that this person is facing the center. And we have a lot of connectivity with Hira, that is common pointers with Hira. You can see Parul is seated immediate left of Hira, Fida is seated third to the right of Hira, then Hira and Vijay are facing opposite directions. So, a lot of information is given with respect to Hira, that is why we have started the question from Hira onwards. Okay? So, now you can see this question is eliminated, this case is eliminated. Why? Because Carol should be second to the right of this E, right? It is not happening in here. In this case, you can see, yes, Carol is second to the right of E. So, that means this is the valid case here. Okay? So, this valid case is second. Wala ban hai. 
नाउ लेट्स क्विकली चेक वट एवर इज रिमेनिंग हियर ठीक है तो ये ई e आ गया ये वी आ गया ये सी आ गया अब आगे देखते हैं क्या दे रखा है सो अंजू इज सेकेंड टू द राइट ऑफ पारुल यू कैन सी आइडर ऑफ द टू केसेस यहाँ पर ये देखो यू कैन सी हीरा इज फेसिंग द सेंटर and this isha is also facing the center right you can see this e and h are facing the center so what should be the direction of this person here iska direction kya hona chahiye this person should be facing away from the center right why because three people seated together cannot be facing the same direction it was mentioned there right to so, yahan par iska direction kya hoga outside from the center hoga aage chalte let's see what is given so anju is second to the right of parul So, यहाँ पर अगर अंजू ये है तो पारुल इन साइड होगा दैट्स अ पॉसिबिलिटी एंड सिमिलरली इफ अंजू इज है पारुल विल बी फेसिंग अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर दैट्स आल्सो अ पॉसिबिलिटी नो इश्यूज ठीक है अब क्या दे रखा था कैरल एंड कार्तिक डू नॉट फेस द सेम डायरेक्शन सो यू कैन सी दे विल बी ऑपोजिट ठीक है चेक करेंगे uh, फिर क्या दे रखा था पारुल इज सीटेड इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ हीरा दैट इज डन फिदा इज सीटेड थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ हीरा दैट इज डन Uh, then we have Isha is opposite to Vijay, ठीक है opposite to Vijay and facing opposite directions. Carol is second to the right of Isha, so you can see that is also done. Anju and Isha are facing the same direction, so you can see Anju and Isha have to be facing the same direction. That means you can see if Isha is facing the center, Anju should also be facing the center. मतलब Anju कौन होना चाहिए? Anju will be this person here, right? So Anju will be here. and this person will be your k right ye kartik ho jayega so you can see here that anju and isha are facing the same direction that means anju will be facing the center here theek hai ab agar anju aa gaya you can see it was given anju is second to the right of parul so that means parul kahan dekhna chahiye because anju has to be second to the right that means parul should be facing away from the center theek hai to yahan par away from the center kon kon aa chuka hai p hai k hai uh we hai right so these persons are already there who are facing away from the center we are left to find your direction of your c and f ab yahan par kya de rakha tha we have anju and isha are facing the same direction carol and kartik do not face you can see carol and kartik do not face towards the same direction so kartik is facing away from the center so this c carol will be facing towards the center theek hai ab f ka direction kya hona chahiye let's see where is that given so you can see here if these two people are facing the center so you can absolutely understand this f should be facing away from the center why because again three people here to four people ho jayega agar ye center mein dekhega so you can see f also will be the one who will be facing away from the center are we clear everybody ye sabko samajh mein aaya ki nahi everybody clear so you can see this would be the final answer and you can see we have p k v and f who are the ones who are facing away from the center here theek hai everyone clear please let me know if we have any doubts in this particular question kisi ko koi doubt ho please bataiyega clear chalo next question very quickly based on flat and floor let's quickly check this out bahut hi easy sa question hai let's see हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट क्लियर चलो बहुत बढ़िया चलो इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करो गाइज वेरी क्विकली अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन है यहाँ पर जितने लोगों के नेम्स हैं उतने ही करने हैं प्लेस ठीक है डोंट फील कि यहाँ पर बिकॉज देयर आर टू सम ऑफ देम आर वेकेंट एज वेल इट इज गिवेन दैट देयर आर सम वेकेंट फ्लोर से वेकेंट फ्लैट्स एज वेल सो जिसका आंसर नहीं आया जिसमें कोई नहीं है वो वेकेंट हो जाएगा ठीक है चलो चेक करो एंड लेट मी नो वॉट इज द फाइनल अरेंजमेंट हिया
done okay so tell me uh, who lives on floor number 2 floor number 2 mein kon kon hai floor number 2 mein kon kon hai tell me only a a ओके okay, चलो जल्दी से करते हैं बहुत इजी सा क्वेश्चन है राइट डन एवरीबॉडी ओके लेट्स ट्राई इट आउट राइट सो देयर आर फाइव फ्लोर्स इन अ बिल्डिंग ईच फ्लोर हैज टू फ्लैट्स एंड हियर तो कुछ इस तरह का बिल्डिंग है ठीक है नाउ एफ लिव्स टू द वेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ द लोअर मोस्ट फ्लोर तो मतलब एफ तो इधर है ये तो फिक्स्ड इंफॉर्मेशन है ई हु इज अ इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ सी लिव्स ऑन थर्ड फ्लोर सो ई एंड सी हैव टू बी नेबर्स और यहां पे दे रखा है नेबर्स मतलब सेम फ्लोर पे होने चाहिए so you can see e and c have to be like this e and c e and c theek hai e and c are on floor number 3 now what is given h lives on the eastern side of building of an even numbered floor so h can be here h can be here either of the positions theek hai usko place karenge then we have j who lives on the western side of the topmost floor has no neighbors right so j who is on the western side you can see j kidhar hoga j ye hoga he is on the western side here and he does not have any immediate neighbors that means this has to be vacant to ye vacant floor ho jayega vacant flat ho jayega theek hai after that what is given then it is mentioned uh, a lives on immediate above d who lives on eastern side of the building so a has to be immediately above d and they have to be on the eastern side of the building that means you can have this only a and d here right yahi banega ek hi possibility hai now what is given the number of persons living and uh, living above and below c on the same side of building has to be same matlab agar c ke upar do log hain to c ke niche do log hone chahiye on the same side of the building right so here you can see if you take the c here agar c ko yahan par liya to you already have two persons living below him you cannot have two persons above him because this is vacant theek hai to matlab c aapka yahan par to hona nahi chahiye so c will not be this person so that means this person will be your e and that is why this person will be your c theek hai ab aapka bacha kon hai you can see we had this information that h has to be on the eastern side of a building and has to be living on a even valued floor so h kidhar aayega ye to a already hai that means h will be here अब ये दोनों आपके वेकेंट हो जाएंगे व्हाई बिकॉज वी डू नॉट हैव एनी इंफॉर्मेशन दैट मींस दिस इज आल्सो वेकेंट एंड दिस इज आल्सो वेकेंट इन हियर आर वी गेटिंग द सेम आंसर गाइस प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ वी हैव एनी डाउट्स इन हियर किसी को कोई भी डाउट हो प्लीज बताइएगा एवरीबॉडी क्लियर विद दिस अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन राइट बहुत ही इजी सा क्वेश्चन था सबका सेम आया ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी क्विकली सिलोजिज्म लेट्स चेक इट आउट चलो जल्दी से इसका आंसर बताइए लेट्स सी आइदर वन और टू आयदा आयदा बिल्कुल तो आयदर का केस मिस मत कर देना गाइस डायरेक्टली इसको जल्दी में नाइदर मत मार्क कर देना देर विल बी आयदर और बिटवीन योर सम एंड नो हियर राइट यू कैन सी ओनली अ फ्यू बोर्ड्स आर पेल दैट मीन सम बोर्ड्स आर पेल एंड सम बोर्ड्स आर नॉट पेल कुछ इस तरह से बनेगा ठीक है देन वी हैव सम बोर्ड्स आर डस्ट सो सम बोर्ड्स आर डस्ट विल बी लाइक दिस अब यहाँ पर बोल रहा है नो डस्ट इज अ पेल दैट इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी यू कैन सी दीज टू आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इच अदर एंड सम डस्ट आर पेल अगेन दैट्स अ पॉसिबिलिटी ये दोनों के बीच में आपका आइदर और बनेगा वाई बिकॉज वन ऑफ देम हैज टू बी डेफिनेटली ट्रू और एक ट्रू होगा तो सेकेंड फॉल्स हो जाएगा और सेकेंड ट्रू होगा तो फर्स्ट फॉल्स हो जाएगा सो यू कैन सी वन एंड टू विल बी आइदर और थर्ड देखो क्या बोल रहा है ऑल बोर्ड्स आर डस्ट यू कैन सी ऑल बोर्ड्स आर डस्ट इज आल्सो अ पॉसिबिलिटी नॉट अ डेफिनेट केस या तो ये गलत हो जाएगा तो इसका आंसर क्या आएगा आइदर वन और टू आएगा ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी क्विकली लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस वन लेट्स चेक चलिए जल्दी से इसका आंसर बताइए व्हाट शुड बी द आंसर इन हियर टू 
ओके सो आयुष ट्रैवलिंग मस्ती दर्शनी प्राइम मिनिस्टर मुस्कान यशोदा तनुजा सबका आंसर टू आ रहा है ऋषभ पारस राजकुमार सेस बोथ साक्षी सौरभ मुस्कान मित्रा प्रियांक प्राची लवली शिवानी सबका टू आ रहा है चलो ठीक है चेक करते हैं साक्षी टू श्रीमती टू मनु टू ओके लेट्स चेक राइट लेट्स सी व्हाट हैज टू बी द आंसर हियर नित्या पारस ओके कुणाल सो यू कैन सी ओनली अ फ्यू ड्रेसेस आर बैग दैट मींस सम ड्रेसेस आर बैग एंड सम ड्रेसेस आर नॉट बैग कुछ इस तरह से डायग्राम बनेगा ठीक है देन वी हैव ऑल बैग्स आर शूज दिस इज योर शूज ठीक है ऑल बेल्ट्स आर ड्रेसेस सो यू कैन सी बेल्ट हैज टू बी इनसाइड ड्रेसेस दिस इज योर बेल्ट ठीक है अब सम बेल्ट्स आर बैग यू कैन सी बेल्ट एंड बैग आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इच अदर दे मे इंटरेक्ट देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी बट नॉट अ डेफिनेट वन ठीक है सेकंड क्या बोल रहे हैं सम शूज आर ड्रेसेस ये तो बिल्कुल डेफिनेटली ट्रू है सम शूज आर ड्रेसेस इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट हियर तो ये डेफिनेटली ट्रू होगा सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन हैज टू बी ओनली टू ठीक है तो आंसर क्या आएगा ओनली टू आएगा चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी क्विकली लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस वन लेट्स चेक blood relation very quickly let's see daughter in law Okay, traveling musti. What is the answer? The question is here. How is C related to E? C related to A. That is the question here. Ayush says it should be daughter-in-law. Muskan is also getting daughter-in-law here. Anyone else? Priyank also. Priya also. Sorry. Priya also getting daughter-in-law. Paras daughter-in-law. Chalo. Okay, Rajkumar daughter-in-law. Traveling musti daughter-in-law. Okay, Rishab. Priyank, okay, Sakshi. Sabka answer daughter-in-law ra Surat, okay. Shivani, Mitra, Anushka, Nitya, okay. Prachi, Sora, Manu. Okay, let's try it out, right? Let's see how this question has to be done, right? Tanuja, absolutely. So you can see it is given. There are seven members in this family here. We have to draw the family tree. Now, what is given? E was the father of D, so E is a male person, right? E is the father of D. D who was the daughter of A. So D has to be the daughter of A. That means A has to be married to E. And if E is a male person, A will be a female person here. कुछ इस तरह से होगा. Now it is given B is the only sister of D. So B has to be the only sister. So B is a female person here. Now G was married to B. So G will be here. And G will be a male person. ये हो गया. ठीक है. F was married to C and was the sibling of B. So you can see here that F has to be the sibling of B. So F will be this person and he has to be married to C, right? Now can we find the gender of F here? Some of us may feel कि मैम इसका gender कैसे निकालेंगे? But remember it was given that B was the only sister of D. So if we have another sibling for D here, that sibling has to be a male person. मतलब M F जो होगा वो male होगा. और C जो है वो फीमेल होगा ठीक है सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द स्ट्रक्चर दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग तो ये बन गया है ना सो द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ इज C रिलेटेड टू A, सो यू कैन सी C इज द डॉटर इन लॉ हियर तो आंसर क्या आएगा इसका डॉटर इन लॉ ठीक है आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एवरीबडी ओके तो बी केयरफुल अबाउट द वर्ड्स लाइक ओनली तो जब भी आपका ओनली आए तो उसका थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखना ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस वन लेट्स चेक चलो जल्दी से इसका डायग्राम बनाओ
Okay, Ayush has completed the arrangement here, Srimati also. So, are we getting the same arrangement, guys, as shared by Ayush? Or are we getting something else? Done, Paral, Sakshay, done, Srimati, done. So, guys, are we getting the same one? Okay, yes, Paras is also getting the same arrangement here. Done, traveling Masti. Absolutely great work. Chalo, jaldi se isko complete karo. Bohat easy sa question hai. Nothing that is very tricky in here. Achha, chalo, theek hai. Check karte isko kaise karna hai, theek hai? Let's understand the meaning here. Dekho, kya de rakha hai? From the year 99 to 2000, 17, one person will get married every third year. That is, let's say, if P gets married in 99, the next person has to get married after third year, right? In the third year. Matlab, 99 is a third year. Thik hai? Matlab, 2002 mein hona chahiye. Next will be after three years. That means, 2005, then 2008, then 11, then 14, and then finally 17, right? So, these are the uh, years that we have. Very simple, absolutely. Ab aage kya de rakha hai? Three persons will get married between H and C. A will be immediately before C, right? So, there have to be three persons between H and C, okay? So, three persons are there between H and C, let's say, H, 1, 2, 3, this is your C, or C, 1, 2, 3, this is your H, right? So, these are the two possibilities. Now, A will get married immediately before H. So, A has to be immediately before H, or A has to be immediately before H, okay? In dono mein se ek na ek hona chahiye. Ab kya de rakha? G will get married in an even number year, that is year ending with even digit. So, you can see G has to be there either in 2002, 2008 or 2014. So, G in dono mein se, in teeno mein se ek ho sakta hai. Now, there are 5 years between Y and N. 5 years matlab 5 different years we are talking about. Hum duration ki baat nahi kar rahe. Jaise 99 or 2005 ke beech mein 5 alag alag saal hai. Matlab we have 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. So 5 alag alag year hai. So you can see that we have to take at a gap of matlab 1 year. Aise agar aap dekho ge. To 1 person ke gap mein ye dono hone chahi. Right? There are 5 years between Y and N. So you can see Y and N will be at a gap of one person. Thikhe? Y and N kitne persons ke beech mein honge? Ek person ki shadi ke gap mein unka shadi hoga. Thikhe? C did not get married in the year 2017. So, C cannot be the last person. So, agar aapko ye place karna hai, let's see. So, we will have your A here, H here. Then 1, 2, 3, we have your C here. Right? This is a possibility. Is wale case mein kaun si possibility hai? You can see C here, then 1, 2, this is your A here and your H here, this is a possibility. Or C here, 1, 2, A here, H here. Or we can have, let's say, C here, A here and H here. ठीक है? अब Y और N को place करना है इस वाले case में. You can see we have two possibilities here. यहाँ पर तो possible ही नहीं है Y और N को place करना. मतलब ये invalid हो गया. ठीक है? इस वाले case में you can see the only possibility will be Y and here. Right? Here also you can see the only possibility will be Y and here. Thik hai? So, either of the cases here. Ab aage kya de rakha hai? De, we have Y gets married. Y will get married after G. So, you can see Y has to be after G. Is wale case mein you can see neither of the possibilities are there because Y cannot be after G. Matlab ye invalid ho gaya. In this case, you will have your G here. Right, you can have your G here, but remember it was given that G has to be in an even numbered year. Matlab ye wala case bhi invalid ho gaya. So, you can see the first will be the valid one here. Thik hai, first wala case aapka valid ho jayega. So, now you can see you have to place your G in an even numbered year. So, G can be here. Thik hai? So, this will be your G and your Y and N will be here. Thik hai? I hope this is clear. Now, who is remaining here? Kaun bacha hai? Ye aapka Y or N ho gaya. Ab ye kya bacha hai? N yaha bhi ho sakta hai, sorry. Uh, ek bar aur check kar lete hai. To aur kya bacha tha? Three persons between H and C done. A will get married immediately before H done. G has to be in a even year done. Then there are five years between Y and N. So, you can see Y and N can be here also. Y and N can be here also. T will get married after Y. Matlab T aapka yaha par hona chahiye. Right? So, you can see this will be your T here. Thik hai? 
and y had to be after g you can see it was given that y is marrying after g that means y has to be this person okay and n will be the person above him so n will be here are we clear everybody ye sabko samajh mein aaya ki nahi okay chalo so now guys i'll give you the homework question for today right ye aapka homework question hai जिसका आंसर आपको कमेंट सेक्शन में नीचे मेंशन करना है ठीक है सो गिव द आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन गाइस, ओके एंड नाउ वी हैव हर्षिता मैम हियर, सो शी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द इंग्लिश सेक्शन एंड देन वी विल बी हैविंग योर उमर सर एज वेल फॉर योर क्वांट सेक्शन तो कहीं नहीं जाना है ये एक मैराथन सेशन है रीजनिंग फोर पी देन इंग्लिश फाइव पी एंड देन क्वांट एट सिक्स पी राइट सो डू नॉट मिस इट आउट सो दिस इज फॉर योर होमवर्क गाइज इन द कमेंट सेक्शन डू मैंशन योर आंसर ठीक है so chalo thank you so much guys now i'll welcome harshita ma'am here harshita ma'am please uh, take over and uh, thank you so much guys theek okay. hai hi guys good evening good evening good evening so we'll start in a bit with the english section uh, like ma'am said this will be a marathon it okay back to back all the three sections again good practice right uh wait i'll just get a question okay guys here lic practice english do is qualifying we'll have easy to moderate questions for the day and i'll keep a mix uh, in the upcoming few days so that you get to practice all okay right here is your ppt uh yeah so you have completed your reasoning part now talking i may yeah no negative marks okay no negative marks means i would like not i would like not uh i would like to say do not take that risk of still marking through guess work but yeah good evening very very good evening guys so we'll start with the english section we have the poll today as well uh i'll be of course uh, i'll request you to mark your answers in the poll we'll have four options i've kept four so english is qualifying you don't have to worry about the section but still practice is required so that you don't do silly mistakes there and you still get the qualifying marks right now we can have uh, we can start with the section but first before i begin let me tell you valentines day offer is live on olive board so you can check out the interview batch for sbi po interview and gd batch super elite plan also at at a discount right now if you want to buy valentine day offer is live you can use the code harshita and our best plan which is mentorship program for all the guys who want the selection in this one year within this year then you can use this code for maximum discount we'll start with the questions four options you have to mark your answers in the options why so that i know accuracy also okay so let us start with the question first one on the screen and you will get less time because today our today it is very doable pattern you will not not get a lot of time to do the questions you have to be quick with the answers okay you have to quickly mark yeah we have the poll easy guys most of the questions on the easy side as the ex as it is expected in your paper and a few moderate level also we can have the poll result okay for the first few questions let's be quick today we can be quick guys very basic questions we can go quick so it is also about maintaining the speed okay you can have the poll result what is the answer here match the column very small one very short one very quickly 96% are right as expected it should have been 100% but okay so they were waiting near the bus junction she took the jar kumar wanted to now after two base form is required okay so picked will be wrong there is a grammar error and a very basic grammar error so all of you participate guys 
see here after two base form of verb is required so you can't mark c and f as a pairing so only two pairs will be correct option number two okay next we can have the poll please but i want more of you to participate because basic questions you should participate here and quickly mark your answers Mark your answers only in the poll, guys. Please. ठीक है, we can have the poll result. Priyanka, good evening. Thirty-four votes and accuracy is eighty-five percent. More votes should be there. Again, I will repeat, more votes. All of you participate in the poll. Now, the mother is watching television in the hall. The minister is escorted on his way to the court. The car was parked. Parking is in the basement. The car. Was parked parking. This two make no sense. So A E and B F. Very easy one. More of you could have been right here. A E and B F. Guys, see in your match the column grammar also you have to check. But in match the column they give very obvious grammar error. Like you will be able to catch the error within a few seconds. They will not give a very complicated rule of grammar in the match the column. So just check it. Confirm grammar also because why would you like to mark wrong answers, right? So yeah, you have to check grammar also. Next one. We can move to the next question poll. Mark your answers in the poll only. Okay, we can have the poll result. See, guys, even phrase replacement questions can be done very quickly because here option elimination is very very quick. Okay, let us see how many of you have marked correct answer. Now the problem is here that you are confused between the option number one, two, and four. Okay, here accuracy is poor. Neither the chairman nor the members of the committee have attended the meeting. Whenever you connect two subjects with neither nor. This is a rule of grammar which you all should know. Where, which verb has to come here? Forty-two words are there, but still people are confused with this rule. What is the verb that you will use here, guys? If you connect two subjects with neither nor, there is a rule for it. What is the verb you will use here? Tell me. Anyone who knows this rule remembers this rule? Which verb? Yes, exactly. Priyanka has mentioned closest subject. Now, if you see here, which is the closest subject here? members okay closest subject to the verb closest to the verb nearest subject to the verb so when are you, when you are saying nearest subject to the verb so nearest is members for that you are using plural have okay some people are marking has also okay which is wrong now you will not change the tense so here have attended the meeting will have makes no sense are will you change the tense not required so what will come here You have an option number one, no correction. Okay, clear. Nearest subject, yes. Choose the verb nearest. Now members is plural subject. So how can you write singular? Have is correct. Okay, for members have is correct. Chalo. Next, we can have the poll, please. Next question.
please guys mark your answers in the poll we can have the poll result okay even if the result had been switzerland on cnai it would still not be worth it now here again a very important grammar rule so let me check your answers first 41% have marked correct votes are still less guys if you see had okay had been perfect with that what do you use in conditional because even if is written conditional is written yes perfect conditional is there if if statement is there so what will you use with had would have okay here have is missing if you see the original the problem is have is missing okay it would still not have would have pairing will come would have pairing will come had will not come it will still not be worth it future simple future will not come so here have is missing in the original so cancel this okay you will use had if you see this had plus verb third form after this pairing will will be for will be of would have would or could have okay this is your conditional would or could have which is correctly given in option number 2 everybody should know this rule you should be able to understand this rule okay meaning of this now had been on sinai means maybe even if the result had been switzerland on sinai okay this is maybe some event they are talking about result of an event uh, let me tell you why they have written on sinai means uh, they are leading basically okay it is a name of a place only guys theek hai sinai is basically a region which is north eastern egypt okay so name of the place only clear means switzerland winning uh, in comparison to sinai like like that region in egypt yeah so talking about the places so switzerland winning okay but conditional here if statement here so remember this rule this is the structure next we can have the poll please next question very interesting questions guys i want you to understand that you have to use logic of grammar here so that you are 100% sure of the answer yeah we have the poll please mark your answers or oh, and guys more participation in the poll please 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 i request all of you more participation in the poll so that we know exact accuracy also I seem to be happy. Is there a reason to be sad, Devdeep? Huh? Might be that the no, that is one of the options. Now, Priyanka, if it is incomplete, you feel you will not select it. You know that. Okay. Let us see accuracy here in this question. actually guys uh, only this part is highlighted it should not be incomplete only this part is highlighted okay this is not highlighted just one correction this one is not highlighted this underlined part is only highlighted chalo we can have the poll result they would rather dash to take the bus than drive now okay that is okay than is okay with rather you can use t h a n that is okay 59 votes 64% are right i am impressed 64% are right it is not incomplete option it was the right option only thing is this was not highlighted some people understood it also with rather we use than but guys rather take you don't need two plus verb first form we don't need infinitive with it rather take the bus than drive okay both forms are correct take verb first form base form after than also verb first form base form okay to taking we will not say only to taking again we will not say very simple elimination what is wrong here to take infinitive not required okay drive is not highlighted here clear next we can have the poll please next question
we can have the poll result. Yeah. Let us check how many have marked this correctly. Number of people, percentage. 55%. Guys, this was a doable one. What happened? Why only 55% know the answer? When you start with hardly, you always use rule of inversion. Also, the pairing with hardly is when. So, this is very basic one. What happened? Hardly had the door closed. Dan cannot be used. That cannot be used. As if cannot be used. With hardly always the pairing is when. Okay, just the pairing. Guys, just the pairing. Huh, if you use the poll, it was not even a uh, few, it was a question like you, you could have done it within seconds, like within one hour, one minute, not one hour, one minute. Okay, very, very basic one. So, whenever you start your sentence with hardly, barely, scarcely, you know that the pairing that is used, conjunction pairing, correlative conjunction pairing is when, when. You already know when is written. Okay, so here, hardly, sorry, hardly is written, when will come. Okay, so all these you can cancel. Clear? And one more thing, with hardly, first helping verb is used, then the subject is used. We also follow the rule of inversion. Okay? Hardly the door had closed, you can't say. Hardly had the door closed. Okay? No. Uh, hardly with when. No sooner ke saath hota hai than. Okay, Devdeep? With no sooner you use than. Don't get confused here. Basic rule. Chalo. Next, we can have the poll, please. Okay, that was a small confusion. It's okay, but good that now you are attending the class, you will remember. Okay, very interesting question. Again, a very important rule in this question also. Guys, please use the poll. Gaurav, please, Arun, please. Individually, I will have to say, huh? please use the poll. See, what happens is when you are using the poll, I come to know about the accuracy level of the soulful class. Okay. Surbhi Priya, very, very good evening. Okay. Let's have the poll result. Okay, 42 percent, actually yeah, third and fourth, everybody has marked. Okay, now I understood your confusion. Whenever you get this comparative form, greater than, it is what? Comparison. So, for comparison, you will use any other. For comparison, we don't use other. For comparison, this will come, any other. Because we say that at a particular time, we are comparing two. Comparison is between two. Two groups, two people, two entities, two things, right? So, here I can understand your confusion. Half people have marked third option, half people have marked fourth option. Any other will not come, sorry, here any other, he was greater. Firstly, tense error is there, guys. Even I don't think uh, new is written. From this only you could have got your answer. I don't think there was a point of confusion. Any other is here also, which is okay. But is, how can you write is, okay? Another is wrong. Okay, now I have already told you with comparative you will use any other plus tense if you see new is written, Milton new, Milton new means past tense. Okay, so past tense also there is a hint that you are getting. You have to be careful in these answers. Like I told you today's session is great. Questions are awesome because uh, people who tend to be too fast also will lose marks because of silly mistakes. You have to be careful also while marking. Okay, chalo. Next, we can have the poll.
we can have the poll poll result arun see in the chat box you will see the poll in the chat box if you will see notice the poll 78% right good you you can get this question very very easily guys very very quickly you can also answer believed this past tense so that one of his companions was a cheat believed in the past tense so are a cheat okay each one of his companions is you go, can't change the meaning okay is a cheat past tense we are saying so what will come here was only you can do very quick elimination fourth will be your answer tense hint you are getting the tense hint chalo next we can have the poll please next question gaurav's english seems to be good ha huh, gaurav you are good at english right chalo i think uh, yeah we can have the poll result the master tested the new boy to see if he can read english okay now guys there is a very very important logic here which i want you to understand the answer is marked by 67% correctly not bad 67% i marked third option okay because when we talk about past possibility tested okay the master tested the new boy to see if he could not can past possibility for past possibility we use could if he could read english okay is able to will read okay uh, future cancel present cancel past possibility because past tense is given you can use past tense for past tense you can use could for present you can use can okay for past possibility could that is the difference can could okay chalo next we can have the poll result sorry poll not the poll result poll uh yeah i think arun is not listening to us arun you have to this is a live class follow the rules also mark your answers only in the poll please four more people guys invite four more people now six more at least there will be 100 people watching live can you not make this 100 share it in all your sessions and it is it is a marathon like you get all the three sections theek hai we can have the poll result forty votes only i gave less time to you because i thought this is a simple one spelling errors you know right you remember the class we discussed spellings also despite their differences okay correct spelling also it could be said that the last assembly election and the last lok sabha election in up were bound there were two so were bound by a common by were bound like linked by a common theme a coming together across the lines of caste and community a coming together means joining hands like unity okay so all are correct there are no grammar errors there there is no word which is incorrect meaning wise context wise everything right okay guys we have crossed 100 now please like the session now that now that 100 people are watching at least like the session chalo next we can have the poll please we can have the poll see spelling errors are very basic ones okay always when you are asked spelling errors you can score in this question tight okay now what you have to be what you have to do here is interchange okay word interchange word swap next is word swap all these are common types expected questions where is 100 and 2 i can see only 100 and now 101 okay चलो मार क्या आंसर्स इन द पोल एवरी वन
okay we can have the poll result uh, 65 votes but 67 percent are right guys this is one question type where actually you can give 100 percent accuracy after it became what clear that the original march uh, 29th brexit deadline has no longer tenable was no longer tenable accusations over who was responsible have come thick and fast actually this is one phrase thick and fast okay they have come very quickly so uh, uh, these two are need to be interchanged if you don't know the phrase till i think you can make a guess from the first word okay what do you mean by thick and fast rapidly something which comes rapidly and in great numbers actually this is a phrase when we say no come thick and here it will be fast come thick and fast means rapidly something which comes very quickly rapidly plus in great numbers rapidly and in great numbers chalo next we can have the poll next question done okay take care we can have the poll result we can have the poll result guys what is slump something which falls like there is a decrease 59 votes why this is a scoring one why are you not marking okay correct answer by 59 percent and number of people also 59 so what will you jakarta's current account deficit this is okay owing to a dash in now in preposition can also give hint decline okay slump in decline in exports could cause concerns unless the us china trade dispute is settled amicably how now settled is a verb so here adverb required that also you get the hint so b and e amicably means in a friendly manner okay in a friendly manner amicably so how will they settle the dispute in a friendly manner so simple adverb was required in this place yes okay clear tableau is like a show here i think it is not mentioned we had devdeep tableau tableau is like uh, where you are representing a group particularly you are you are actually there is no movement and uh, yeah we can have the poll there is no movement in tableau and you are representing or showing giving meaning to something if you are talking about the same context there are there are people who are motionless without motion they represent a scene from a story we i have participated in tableau in school if you are asking the same tableau meaning okay chalo uh, we can have the poll uh, yeah we have the poll guys mark your answers in the poll please as a class i remember participating in tableau but our group got uh, zero marks because everybody started laughing and everybody started moving on the stage and we were thrown out of the stage and then our class teacher got angry and then she gave a big lecture to us okay after the whole competition was over okay we can have the poll result most people want to change the world to improve their lives but the world they need to change first is the one inside themselves so for people inside themselves yes very very basic one c and d interchange c and d 86% are right okay good enough right
चलो नेक्स्ट वी कैन हैव द पोल प्लीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई आर पीपल लाफिंग एट दिस एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लाइफ विच आई हैव शेयर्ड हाँ स्कूल लेवल आई वॉज लाइक द यू कैन से द नॉटीएस्ट स्टूडेंट दे कुड गेट प्रॉबली ओके मैं आपके आंसर्स इन द पोल Yeah, we can have the poll result. Both one is verb, one is noun. Got it. Forty-seven votes only. Why? A monument. Okay, you were asking for the question only. Here, what is required? You tell me. Remember, is required definitely no. You require a noun word here. So, got it. Your answer is right. Obviously, you can make out. Okay, you want a noun word here. So a moment in remember ni remember is a verb form. So this is wrong. What will you write here? Remembrance in remembrance. A moment in re remembrance of what is required? Noun form is required. Okay. Ha. Huh. So word usage is wrong here. Chalo. Next we can have the poll please. Next question. You have to be careful about the options. Actually, what did we mark here? B part, huh? Options are jumbled. Yes, options are jumbled. Doesn't mean, guys, it is tricky. Just be careful, little careful. ठीक है, we can have the poll result. You are saying easy, but still, only the poll result will tell me the truth whether it is easy. Uh, or no because majority has to mark it correctly how many correct yeah now 64 percent please understand a option so a option means fourth one fourth one football spelling is wrong football spelling is wrongly given and you have to be careful see the highlighted words double l is required okay huh. so very easy chalo next we can have the poll please next question Correct one is Parliament is debating a proposition which would prohibit smoking in public places. S E S is not the spelling. Third option we can have the poll result also. Let us see how many could identify this. I think hundred percent accuracy will be there. Places C E S, but eighty three percent. Still you are not coming above ninety percent accuracy. Such basic questions, guys. Next. Please mark your answers in the poll. My favorite questions: error spotting. We can have the poll. Vote, vote, vote. Use the poll. Are you guys feeling that I that uh, I I should give extra time? You let me know. I'll give you more time for the question if you want. But please do mark your answers in the poll, guys. Kanchi Rati, use the poll. Okay, we can have the poll result. Don't guys answer in the chat. Use the poll so that I come to know also, no accuracy. Whether you are getting it, how many people are getting the correct answer? Yes. 
according to a recent study by the education department of the institute about 50% of people studying there cannot talk spanish now when you talk about a language you say you speak a language not talk a language so speak spanish okay d part means first has first is your option 67% are right because you are talking about language you will not say talk spanish you will say speak spanish correct I do know little bit Spanish. Little bit is like two sentences in Spanish, Priyanka, which I am not going to say. Two sentences, I don't know why I know two sentences in Tamil, Spanish, French, English. So, I of course know, but yeah, only these. Uh, guys, one thing which is very important, which I have to tell you also. So, here before we move to the next question, what is the day tomorrow? Valentine's Day. Now, I know because you guys are there that nobody is giving you any gift. Yes or no? But Olive Board is giving you a gift on Valentine. What is that gift? You are not getting gift from anybody else. Are you? From your partners or whosoever? Family, partner? No, right? But see, Olive Board is so loyal to you. Olive Board is going to gift you. What? Valentine Day offer is life. I have to tell you. Already on Olive Board. We are giving you actually uh, advance gift also on Valentine. Today also the offer is live. Yesterday also the offer was live. Few days only. But here you have a Valentine Day offer which is on the code Harshita. You will get extra validity and, okay I can't type here. On And maximum discount also on code H-A-R-S-H-I-T-A on our courses. You get discounts. On our courses you get discounts. Okay. Okay. 14th Feb. What is Matru Pitru Divas? Cow Hug Day is cancelled. They were earlier saying it, but now I think it is revoked. Earlier they were they were trying to say that, right? That uh, 14th, they declared it, I think, but then that is revoked. Now there is no Cow Hug Day on 14th. Okay, that day is cancelled. See, I know your current affairs better. So, guys, we have Olive Board giving you a gift, which is use code Harshita and get maximum discount on courses. This is Valentine Day offer, limited offer. Okay, chalo. Next, we can have the poll. This I don't know how many will understand. Tamil, I know. Ni yonne, na yonne, ni yonne kadalikra. Tamil. You know Tamil? I know. I watched movies in Tamil. Okay, we can have the poll result. 45 votes and uh, very, very poor accuracy as expected. Only 40% know. Why? See, perspective is your point of view. Okay, perspective meaning your point of view, you can say. But here, what are you talking about? Prospective buyers. You are, you want a word, potential buyers. Who can, who will be your potential buyers? So, Prospective, meaning you need a word or adjective for buyers, potential, sorry, potential buyers. Okay, you can't say perspective. You are not talking about your opinion or your point of view. If you look at the full sentence, you will realize this is wrong as for the context of the sentence, as for the meaning of the sentence. Okay, clear? Huh. So, prospective buyers, yeah, marketing students would know. Chalo, next we can have the poll. Naan unnai kadalikaran. Okay. Tamil versus Telugu debate is on now. I can see.
okay we can have the poll result once i finish the course i have decided to start my own fabrication unit okay theek hai uh here here there seems to be no change or no correction required it is okay na this is 100% sahi what is the result have people marked option number 3 actually 85% are right okay not bad guys you know today's questions are like expected level and let me tell you if you do today's session you will really feel that today's level of questions is like on the paper day like on the main exam day you will remember me for sure you will say yeah these are the kind of questions we did in class also okay so you remember me on that day also yeah we can have the poll for the next one ye kya hai beacon दाबेड़ी दबेड़ी वॉट इज वॉट आर यू सेंग कुछ भी लिखोगे मैं बोलूंगी नहीं बिकॉज आई डोंट नो वॉट यू आर राइटिंग नाउ ईडियम्स इफ यू नो okay so here guys the answer will be the few neighbors who had beaten the thief because we are talking about beating okay hitting beating therefore related to that is black and blue okay how will you beat a person when the person is badly bruised when a person is badly bruised very very badly beaten then we say black and blue okay here unpredictable whose mood plan changes quite often we say blow hot and cold sometimes hot sometimes cold as fit as a fiddle means healthy cut and dried means settled but here we are talking about beating somebody beating the thief therefore you will mark third option 53% only knew this so very basic ones not very very tough chalo next we can have the poll no this is some alien creature i was trying to draw something else only okay tell me what is the poll result yeah we can have the poll result i want to check how many are right here very basic one i think 100% accuracy okay 96% right you failed me by 4% improving the efficiency what will you try to improve obviously positive word required efficiency of highly optimized solar cells now noun is required so you can cancel the object uh, adjective forms okay competitively adverb cancel so simple the means noun required very very basic question theek hai next we can have the poll one more thing guys on my telegram i will be posting something new on valentines day related to english obviously so harshita dot the grammar girl do follow me for some amazing content coming your way i hope you followed my previous reel also regarding the difference between all together versus all together i think we once discussed it also all together versus one word which is adverb all together okay so i'll be coming up more with more content like this something which is very very going to be informative and useful for all of you okay this is my insta handle yeah we can have the poll result we discussed this rule so many times 44 votes only why are people slow hardly where is the where is the um, missing part helping verb missing had i reached home a part you know right when you start with hardly first you have to use the helping verb then only you can use the subject i first helping verb has to come rule of inversion 
right hardly had i reached home please understand rule of inversion hardly had i barely had i scarcely had i first helping verb then only subject how can you write the subject directly chalo next we can have the poll please next question yeah gargi today you are very late what happened to you uh madhu you will get edms basic pdf on my telegram just do that much for edms on my telegram there is a pdf shared on file in file section Ajaz, who is teaching you wrong English? With hardly you use when, W H E and when. Oh, Gargi, then it is okay. Priyanka is very clever. Huh? Priyanka is saying, saying she was promoting your code, so she is late. Then Gargi, every day you come late after promoting my code peacefully. Then you come to class. Okay, we can have the poll result. ठीक है. You are free to thanks me later once your project gets the approval. Now. Thanks me later is okay. Free to thanks me. After two, you use the base form. So you are free to thank me. The verb has to be in the base form. Thank me later. Very basic one. Seventy nine percent are right. हाँ. ठीक है. Base form. चलो. Next. We can have the poll, please. Next question. Mark your answers, guys. Options are jumbled, so be careful. Options are jumbled, so while you are marking your answers, be careful. Okay, we can have the poll result. I am teacher by profession, but I always wanted to become a dancer. Okay, not true for me, but okay. Let's see what is the accuracy here. You guys, can you understand that you need an article here? Usually, article errors. Not many people are able to mark correctly. I don't know why, but a part. I am a teacher. When you are talking about specific countable noun, single countable noun, we use article. so i am teacher makes no sense i am a teacher by profession exactly article required i am a teacher okay now no 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 not even artist priyanka i always wanted to be teacher only ha huh. so very lucky people like me get the same profession what they like chalo next we can have the poll ठीक है, we can have the poll result, guys. Please mark your answers in the poll. Negative marking, don't do because nothing is mentioned, so there is no negative marking. Sure, Chandra Chandra ka, or everybody saying there is no negative marking for sure. But don't ask me whether I should do guesswork or no. Okay, C part. Now the car means non-living, so you can't use who, which is a relative pronoun. Which in the garage is the one which my wife brought. Which, okay, right. choice one particular specific one out of all the cars this is the one which my wife got so which will come you i i hope you all understand why we are not using that because that can also be used for non living but here which case will be correct okay chalo next we can have the poll 
गाइस सपोज इफ वी से यू मार्क एवरीथिंग और एवरी आंसर एवरी क्वेश्चंस आंसर लाइक गेस वर्क आल्सो देन व्हाट विल हैपन इन एलआईसी विल यू फेल और विल यू पास इफ दे आर सेइंग नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग व्हाट विल यू डू विल यू मार्क रॉन्ग विल यू मार्क ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आंसर्स फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चंस और विल यू स्टिल बी यूजिंग that same fund of maintaining accuracy you have to decide theek hai we can have the poll result See guys, if you will not say things with caution, then you will have to eat your own words. Eat your own words, then you will have to admit that you were wrong. Admit that you were wrong, incorrect. Means you say something, guys, without caution, carelessly. When you say, you sometimes have to eat your own words also. So when we say eat your own words, means you are trying to say that you will have to admit that you were wrong, that you said something stupid or you know uh, wrong in the past. correct fly off the handle means to lose your temper okay and pay off a score means you take revenge you get angry you lose temper what is play ducks and drakes i think this is all about favorite uh, idiom in many questions i have seen this one uh, careless being careless play ducks and drakes use something carelessly okay so common idioms you should know don't worry about this part because in english section even if you do not know all the uh, you can say idioms or basic idioms also you can manage in lic i don't think the level was will be very tricky also acha one thing somebody is saying 111 do i see 111 which is our angel number where do you see it priyanka why can't i see 111 oh yeah finally i was just mentioning this we have not seen this number live in class but we have 111 likes which is again lucky as you know and i have told you angel number means all those watching the class might be very do very nicely in the paper in your exam chalo we can have the next one we can have the poll yes yeah we are bunny mostly going to do that only after lic we are focusing we'll be focusing on rbi assistant madhu take out a list for ssc you need to know more idioms okay yeah we can have the poll result very basic one the committee is dash on a feasible and a practical solution so on is written means phrase is required effectively positively add you don't need uh, adverbs okay working on something okay working on 83% are right okay next we have one paragraph do you want to try this guys okay let's skip this i want to go and do some vocab before umar sir comes in okay before uh, your umar sir comes in for quant let's do some vocab revision i think that is more important vocabulary basic revision are you all ready for the vocab test basic words expected words which will be there in your lic exam can i can i give the test guys okay yeah i'll write a group of words and you have to tell me how many you know no more poll simple vocab revision for lic okay i am going to write a group of words accord no more poll uh, poll is not required okay before sir comes we'll do some revision of vocab utter these are as per your level okay exam level you might find some very doable but still render okay dwell
कंपेल देन यू हैव एलेज परपिचुअल ओके दीज आर योर वर्ड्स राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट with the discussion here how many you know let us see let us check uh, what you know please quickly start writing adarsh very soon uh, for rbi i will say yeah very soon theek hai no now utter everybody knows only one meaning is it don't don't you know the second meaning priyanka you will tell me the second meaning also of utter i don't want only one meaning there are two main meanings accord means to grant okay for example the powers accorded to the head of the state okay so to grant something to give something accord is to grant the powers accorded to someone given to someone okay now everybody will always say utter means speak but what about the second meaning of utter okay utter also means absolute complete exactly second meaning also you should know because this is also very much used okay utter nonsense complete okay चलो नेक्स्ट वन वॉट इज द वर्ड योर रेंडर रेंडर मीन्स इट वॉज रेंडर्ड कंसिडर्ड रेंडर ओके सो रेंडर योर मीन्स कॉज टू बिकम और मेक समथिंग यूजलेस कॉज टू बिकम रेंडर्ड ठीक है यूजली वी यूज इट इन अ सेंटेंस द रेन्स रेंडर्ड द एस्केप पॉसिबल इट मेड द एस्केप इम्पॉसिबल ओके रेंडर्ड मीन्स कॉज बेसिकली dwell dwell on something you dwell on something meaning you reside or you live Let's see literal sense is reside okay live reside somewhere stay somewhere where you live okay okay what are you giving the answer for compel quickly tell me compel force to do something can i say compel means when you are obliged when by obligation you are forced or obliged to do something forced to do something obliged to do something okay alleged obviously put blame blame what is perpetual anyone perpetual i think it is continuous what have you marked guys see these are very common words like these are expected words in your paper for lic at least so never ending or perpetual is like yeah continuous like i say constant con continuous continuity maintaining continuity continuous theek hai everlasting ha which doesn't end allegation blame correct so seven words but all are so basic right all are very manageable if you get these words in your paper you can still manage right these words the words you must know for lic exam at least okay now Uh, we have quant session by Omar sir, so don't go anywhere. You know now till your exam we'll have a marathon, starting with 4 p.m. Nikita ma'am's class, 5 p.m. English, then 6 p.m. quant by Omar sir. Right, three of us. Now one thing, guys, here just revise these words. Uh, tomorrow I will be taking five options only, not four options to let you know. Lastly, before I go, I'm giving you this set means PDF. When I give you, I'll give you this RC for you to revise. so this rc will be your homework okay pdf you will find where i already told you on my telegram group and channel so do follow me there on my telegram group and guys valentine day offer is live anything you buy use the code harshita valentine day i told you already okay theek hai now wait for 2 minutes and you have the quant session oh put that yeah
Okay. Okay, guys. So now you will have your quant section. Okay, Umar sir is here. We have your quant section, sir here. Yeah. You want a maximum discount on firstly Rajiv? Don't buy test series. Buy Super Elite and use the code. Achita. Okay. Abhi Umar sir class lenge. ठीक है. हाँ. सही. Thank you so much. Best, Thank you so much. Bye sir. Bye bye. <coughs> okay, guys. Uh, starting with the session with the first question without wasting time. Okay. Good. So obviously it will be continued till your exam. Okay. So yes, be with us. Okay. Yes. Start with the series number one. Question number one. Go for it. Yeah. These all questions are previous year memory based question. Either you can find them for like SBI PO prelims, IBPS PO prelims. Yes. You can definitely yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the question is that if Isha says, uh, sir, uh, like that, uh, whether minimum marks, maximum. Okay. In LIC, I am repeating again. In LIC W, there is a first sectional cutoff. Sectional cutoff is like you have to cross quant, reasoning, and English. The question is like that 18, 18, and 10. Okay, that after that, there will be cutoff. If you go for the previous year cutoff, it was near about 58. Okay out of 70 so english is not included what does that mean mean is you have to get only 10 passing marks for this okay so but the uh, what will be the include for rank that will be from 35 35 yes that is how much 35 and 35 that will be from this part okay go for this question fast good good great my dear If we get 10 marks in English is enough, yeah, that's enough. That, I mean, sectional marks is sectional cut up. I mean, first you should know for, uh, you have, if you are preparing for any exam, you should know everything. Last year cut up, last year exam analysis. There is a one video available on YouTube, full YouTube and um, full video for LICWO. Go for that. Definitely every, your confusion will be clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now have a look, my dear. Yeah. Go for expected cutoff for pre. I cannot say anything, but if you go for last two, three years, you will see 58, 57, 58, 59. Maybe to, to, uh, for, uh, to be honest, for this year, we can expect more, more thing because posters are less, competition is quite good. But the level of paper is not too, uh, too tough, quite easy. Yes, go for it, sir. If we, if we check the difference or if we take a multiplication, there is nothing like that, sir, difference. So it will be 1, 2, 1. Huh? Yes. Go for it. Good evening. Very good evening. Ananya. Good evening, everyone. Very good evening. Yes. Sir, then, sir, it is difference of 100. I told you many times, whenever you find any perfect scare and all that, just have a look. You know that from 1 to 50, you know. Okay, sir, it is 11 square. Sir, it will be 10 square. Then I, I will not waste my time to calculate the difference and all that. It should be same. Huh? It should be same if you check for two, three number, it should be same. Okay. It should be if it is 11, 10. So it should be 9. It should be 8. Okay. Then it should be how much? 7. How much? Sir, it is 411 minus 49. Okay. Calculate the value. Good. Hmm. Uh, what is 11? Then it is uh, 10. 9, 8, it should be 7. It is plus, huh? Okay, great, great, great. Sir, it is plus, this is minus, okay. This is plus, this is minus, and it should be plus. Okay, no problem. 
so it will be once i mean uh, how much sir 460 hmm. there is an alteration it was plus minus plus minus and plus okay option number a go for the next question these are all previous year memory based questions some of some of may, you may have seen these questions huh? yes go for it Rajkumar, one sir, all addition karenge. Yeah, there was a one some addition and subtraction. Yeah, increasing, decreasing series accordingly. Good. Muskan, okay. Ranchi Rati, good, good, good. Munnari, yes. Go for it, my dear. The question is quite simple. If you go for the like order equation, it will be quite easy as compared to other. In this section, every possible. In this, there is will be one castlet given to you that will decide your preparation. Good. Go for it. Charlie, Anushka, okay, Sandeep, hmm, okay, Rajiv, Rajan, okay, I don't know by which method you are going to follow, sir, I have to, I mean, uh, split this term, okay, their multiplication should be 300 and their addition, it is plus, means addition should be 35, so I think 20 and 15 could be the correct option, sir, it is plus, first root always negative, positive will change this, it will be negative. So, coefficient is 1, nothing to divide, nothing to multiply. Okay, move to this question, sir. We have to find two numbers such that their multiplication should be 30. It is minus, now. Don't make mistake, it is minus. I mean, their difference should be 7. So, it will be, I think, 10 and 3. Their difference is 7. It is plus, definitely it will be minus. Plus will change also this sign. Negative, it will be positive. Great. So, no need to change, yes. Now, calculate the value, my dear sir. If I go for this, sir, minus, minus 20 is less than minus 10. Minus 20 is less than plus, okay. This is also less than, this is also less than. Can I write down x is less than y short formally? Good. Option A, yeah, that was the option A. Remember, my dear, some people will go with that. They just try to remember the option, maybe. Sometimes they have in as last year, SBI clerk, this option number, this last option was put it here. Option is C. So, be with your calculation. What you have calculated, be with that, not with the options. Huh? Anirban Gosher, sir, I'm Okay, good. Good. So, answers are coming starting with Anirban. Okay, Rishabh. Okay. Anushka. Chalni, Muskan, Muskan, Sonu. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ranchi, Rathi, Lauli. Okay. Hmm. Rajiv. Go for it, my dear. Question is quite simple. Okay. When you see this type of question, obviously it is based on mixture and allegation. Two methods are to be done, one by formula method, one by simple method. Go for it. Okay. Sir, it is given a shopkeeper sells a mixed quantity of pulses A and B. I will tell you sometimes, I mean, when, they, when there will be a problem in this question. Problem like that, it will be a mix, mixed concept. Okay. That I will tell you. Okay, pulse, I mean, pulse is A have, having a selling price is this much. Pulse is B is having a selling price of this much. 
and at what proportion should be mixed so that the pulse A to B, okay, so B to A in the order selling the mixed quantity of pulses at a rate of 120 per kg, huh? 120 per kg. 120 per kg, mixture selling price is given. If you see the last year paper, IBPSP, it was given that the question was different. It was given the selling price, selling price and cost price and there was a profit given, okay. So don't make any mistake, everything, if it is selling price, selling price, it should be also selling price. This mostly student make a mistake here, okay. Now, sir, it is given that it has a uh, 160. Okay, now for the cheap quantity, go for cheap one first. Okay, sir, it is having as 160 and 100. Okay, sir, 100 and that of 160. Good. Okay, now they are mix up. Okay, how much they are, uh, what is the cost, sir, 120. Good. Now, what is the ratio we are going to calculate, sir? 160 minus this will be 40 to that of. This minus this will be 20, but it is seen. Pulses A having the selling price of this is A, this is B. Remember, we always take cheaper and dearer, cheaper and non cheaper quantity. Okay, so it will be how much? It will be 2 is to 1. But it was asked, my dear, it was asked. You calculated ratio B is to 1. It was asked that A, I mean, you have to calculate. Pulses B to A, you have to calculate that ratio obviously. But sometimes if it, if it is given that you have to calculate A is to B, don't make mistake. Some people go with formula. They use a formula this minus this divided by this minus this is the ratio this divided by this. This is one of the same. This By this method you will not be confused, okay. Remember, okay, it will be how much sir? Both options are given, okay. It's a trap like this situation. Good. Sir, please uh, poll. Actually, uh, I am alone in studio, so I have to go back and all that, so adjust it here. Uh, so let, let anyone come and then I will, yeah, I will try to make a poll. Don't worry, man. Ajaz. Okay, answers are coming. Anandiban Ghosh, Ananya, Ajaz, Lauli, Rajiv, till that. Options are not correct, huh? Please check your calculation. Good, good, good. Again, Anushka, Anirban, Nitya. Okay, Mohammad Vikar. Hmm? Murgi Sen, yes. Rishab, Shalni. Now, answers are coming a little bit. Yeah. This type of question, in every question, there is a little bit hint given to you. Little bit hint. If you, if you see the question very clearly, it... It may be not be in first statement, it may be in second statement. Huh? These type of questions are done by both trick method and by the uh, conventional method. I will show you both method. Okay. Huh? Mine first. <laughs> okay. This type of question, I will tell you the both method. Okay. Don't worry. Have a look. Sir, a two digit number, always we know that two digit number is 10x plus y. This is the representation of any two digit number. Everyone knows that, okay? A two digit number is nine more than the sum of digits. Sum of digits means X and Y. Got? So can I, can I say that like this, sir? It will be how much, sir? 10X plus Y is nothing but it is uh, sum of. So X plus Y plus nine, okay? Y, Y will be canceled out, okay? So it will be nine X is nine, X is one. So definitely this will be 10 plus some number and the options are given, but we cannot decide here. 
I will tell you the trick method also, my dear. Don't worry. Okay. Now it is second statement is given that if twice of nine is added, twice of nine is eighteen. If eighteen is added, okay, to the number, okay, then the digits of number are interchanged. If it is ten x plus y, it will be interchanged. It will be ten y plus x. Means this is an interchanged quantity, but it will be after adding of 18 plus 18 into 9 into 2 means 18. So, adding this, sir, 10x plus y. If the, if after adding of twice of 9 means 18, that is this much. Okay, how much will be the value? It will be, sir, 10y plus x. Hmm? Clear? It is mentioned clearly that. If 9 is added to the number, okay, then the digits of the number are interchanged. The interchange means they are equal, okay. So, how, what will be the value, sir? 10x minus x, it will be 9x, okay. It is how much? Y. It will be plus 18, that is nothing but the 9x, okay. What is it? It will be 27 is nothing but 9x. X, I will tell you the trick method also. So, x is 13. So, what will be the number? Sir, original number will be, okay. Hmm. So, it will be 10 times 1 will be uh, 10 plus 3, that is how much? 13. This is the original number. This was the option. Okay. Everyone knows that? Okay. Y is 3. Yes. It is Y. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, good. Have a look. If you if you if you see the clue in question, there will be always a hint given to your question. Okay, the question will be given too much. Okay, seventy question will be given to you from thirty five con thirty five reasoning. But that sometimes if you if you read question very carefully, what is given that if twice of nine is added to the number, then digit is interchanged. There are simple five options. Okay, so you have to add how much eighteen to their number and check whether which number interchanges okay sir if i add 13 13 plus 18 will be how much 31 okay so these number interchange directly okay rest you don't have to check simple only by seeing one statement and by using these numbers these are number system problem okay number system pro number system is one of important topic from count i mostly suggest student pay quiet attention towards number system you remember yesterday I, I mean saturday we did a problem from probability that was based on number system what is the probability of selecting a prime number some people write down prime number but we don't have to write we know that up to 50 up to 50 we have how many prime number 15 prime number up to 100 how many prime numbers are 25 prime number if you if you have a good hand in number system good 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 if you have a good good hand in uh, like prime number you don't have to write sir it is 2 3 and all that you are going to calculate up to 50 no up to 50 we have 15 prime number and after 100 we have 25 this is very good concept and by using this concept you can use so whenever it is given that it is a complete statement twice 9 is added to the number the digit is interchange i mean it's a complete equation you just try to eliminate it Okay, you will get the result. Banking me aati hai. Ananya says, sir, is number system banking me aati hai. Directly question. I mean, this was from number system. The last question, it was from number system, memory based question. Okay, yesterday I show you the probability from uh, number system. That is also so number system pe questions are frequently asked. Uh, yeah, this is Caslet. Okay. I want to show you one thing, my dear. The question, this is a this is a data given on the basis of this. How many questions are? It is a set of four questions given. Okay. How you can make this question? How you are going to suppose this question, sir? This is a data. I mean, this will be the question, sir. It is quite easy. Questions are quite easy, easy, easy. But what is the concept is that you have to first make a data. What data is needed? Read it quite. Clearly, I will tell you, sir, the given data is about the number of lakes. Lakes is there, okay, how many lakes, salt water or fresh water, okay, two types of lakes in three different countries, okay, which countries we have, the number of fresh water lakes in India, sir, we have India, okay, is 80 more than of Nepal, we have Nepal, okay, 
and the total number of lakes in Nepal is this at the salt water level Japan so Japan is here also this is a castlet my dear so so if anything is given to exam we are not allowed to leave because the cutoff is quite high so we should have a knowledge of every di i mean i know that you have done a lot of practice of di but mostly you leave castlet huh? castlets are very easy if you pay focus okay we have what data we have sir salt water okay i can write salt water not only this we have fresh water these are lakes okay and we have total lakes how many lakes we have total Calculate the, give me the data on the basis of that. Huh. Please, fast, fast, my dear. Huh? Definitely, definitely, this will, these type of cassettes are asked frequently. Prelims means both as. If you calculate any parameter, India, you can write down India, salt water, salt water like this much. You can calculate. What is given? Okay. You can write down, sir, number of is this much. The total number of lakes in Nepal is 600. Okay. Sir, total is 600. Okay. The number of salt water, Japan is this, 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 this. this. The total number of salt water lakes in India is this, 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 this. Okay. The total number of lakes in India. India is how much? 400. Good. The number of fresh water lakes in Japan is 300. Okay. Fresh means this much. Okay. 300. Calculate the value first. Go for it. Now, sir, we are going to see that question. Okay. It is given that the number of fresh water lakes in India is 80 more than of Nepal. Fresh water. Sir, if it is X, it will be X plus 80. Good. Everyone, please try it fast. Okay. One statement done. Sir, the number of salt water lakes in Japan is 40 less than that of Nepal. Okay. Salt water. What? How many salt water we have? No, we don't have any yet. Huh? Good. The number of salt water lakes of the three given companies we have is much. Okay, total number of lakes in India is 400. Total number of freshwater lakes in Japan is 300. We write down everything. Good. Hmm. Sir, if it is X, total is 600. What will be this? 600 minus X. Sir, if it is 400, freshwater is X plus this. It will be how much, sir? 320 minus X. Done? Huh? Now question becomes easy to you. Guys, how much? Huh? This, this, this. And question is very easy. Now, what is given that? Sir, the number of salt water lakes in Japan is 60 less than that of Nepal. Okay, how much Nepal is this? Okay, so it will be 60%. So, 60% of how much? Sir, 60% of 600 minus X. What will be that? Done. Sir, it is 360 minus 0.6x. Question is done. Something is given to you and calculate this very easy. After that, there will be very easy question is based on this, but hmm, we don't have option. Yeah. I will tell you the options also. Don't worry. Have a look. Total number of salt lakes in given three countries. Sa total salt lakes. This plus this plus this is given as how much? 630. Okay. Calculate that. Sir, 320, 930. Okay. 6, 612. It will be how much? Sir, 1280. Minus. Okay. How much? X, X and 0 0.X. Sir, it will be minus 2.6X. That is how much? Sir, 630. Okay. Sir, it will be how much? Sir, 650 is nothing but 2.6x. What is the value of x? Good. Answers are coming. Answers are what? Any value you have calculated, give me that value. Okay. The cash letters, you cannot leave. You have to do this. Okay. Four questions, five questions will be they are quite, I mean, important. Okay. You have seen the cutoff that it will be minimum. Minimum last year cutoff was 58. Means that. 29 con 29 reasoning okay so we have to expect that more than 30 in count and reasoning okay so it will be 250 okay 
done question is done there is nothing now my dear okay sir now i can easily write that sir if x is 250 this will be 330 sir it will be we have calculated this how much we have calculated it is 250 okay so it will be how much this will be 350 sir uh, it will be how much it will be 70 sir this will be 130 No, we have calculated 330. Hmm? Good, good. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Please go for it. Okay. Is there any value? Okay. Hmm. Everything done? Okay, what is this? Okay, it will be 0 0.6. What is the value of x250? It will be near about uh, 150. So it will be 150. It will be 110. 110, one, it will be 410. Huh? Good. Japan. It will be 210. 210. This will be how much? 510. Everything is now you guys please write down these values because on the base of this data we have to do some uh, How many questions four questions and they are quite easy by seeing the data you have to click. Uh, yeah Yeah, 360 three. Yeah 360 minus 150 will be 21. That is the data. Yes. Can we go for the question? Should I go for question sir uh, SW salt water 30 50 30 okay good Everyone has calculated. I am quite happy. Raj Kumar, yes. Das, Shalini, Muskan. Okay, Sandeep, Akshay, Anushka. Good, good, everyone. I, I, I request everyone, please make a make a little bit of small table on the base of that. India, I mean like India, Nepal, Japan, salt water, fresh water, and total. Here is how much? 70, 330, total is 50. Okay, 350, uh, 250, 60. Okay, and how much? 5, 1, 10. Then on the base of that, can we go for the question? Guys, can we go for question? Huh? Should I go for questions? Yes, okay. I, I hope that you have data. I hope that you have data. Yes, answer, answer, answers are coming. Now, definitely once you calculate the data, cast it, and you should make a habit like that, how to tackle, how to do cast it and all that. So, we are not allowed to, I mean, leave any part in exam. So, we have to do. So, that's why I do practice much more. What is it? What is the difference between the number of salt water lakes in Nepal? Salt water is this much. Sir, this much, okay. I'm going to write down in my red pen, okay. This much, okay. And the number of fresh water lakes in India. So, fresh water lakes in India, how much, sir? Simple, we are calculating the difference that will be 20. Huh? 350 minus 330. Simple, 350 minus 330. Clear? Guys, this is clear to everyone. Now, you can easily calculate. Okay, you can easily calculate. Moving for the next question. Yes, Ananya. Yeah, Murugisin Raj Kumar. Good, good, good.
data you have table you have nothing india with respect to total sum and that yeah, this is the beauty of any di and cascade more than if i talk about the di so maybe in each question you have to calculate something but in cascade once you calculate table sometimes you have to use a venn diagram huh? depending upon the condition huh? you can easily see where we have to use table or where we have to use venn diagram in case you have any query any doubt you can join my cohort group you can ask me there also no problem sir what is the total number of freshwater lakes okay freshwater lakes in india so we are calculating india with respect to total okay freshwater only okay total number of salt water okay so fresh water in india with respect to salt water total okay fresh water india okay so fresh water is how much sir 330 i can write down 330 salt water total will be how much sir salt water total what is the total that much okay so it will be how much 0 uh, 12 13 3 1 carry okay 2 1 6 630 okay sir 630 good cut it down okay so it will be 3 11 times 3 21 times 11 21 okay go for the next question good 630 good go for the next question Good, good. Give, give me the answer, huh? It, yeah. Sir, it is given that the total number of freshwater lakes in Japan, freshwater lake in Japan, with respect to we are to calculate, is how much percent less or more than that of the total number of lakes in India. So, total in India. Okay. So, fresh in Japan will be how much? So, fresh in Japan is 300. Okay. And total in India. Okay. That is how much? 400. Okay. So 300 with respect to 400. So obviously it will be less, not more. So less. Sometimes they will give the question with also less and more. So how much it is less? So 300. Sorry, 300 minus 400 will be 100. Okay. With respect to more quantity, 400. So 1 by 4, 1 by 4 of 100 will be definitely 25. Huh? 25 percent, but it is less. If they ask sometimes less and more, yes be with that also okay if it is if they ask 25 less 25 more and you have seen such type of question in percentage also huh? they will give you the data for less more and all that don't make mistake huh? sometimes we just see option as option one as 25 we just click on that so this you have to take care Out of total salt water lakes in Nepal and J Japan together. So salt water, I am going to calculate the salt water lakes of Nepal plus Japan. Okay, going to for that, I am going to calculate two third are desert. If sorry, three fourth are desert and one fourth are the remaining. So find the number of salt water lakes in Nepal and Japan together that are not. I mean, if three fourth are de desert, one fourth will not be desert. We have to calculate that. First of all, we are going to calculate salt lakes for Nepal and Japan. How many have we? So salt for Nepal and Japan will be how much? Okay. So it will be 560. Huh? 560, I think. Yes. Sir, total is how much? 560. Okay. Sir, 560. 1 by 4. Okay. Huh? Very good. So 14 times. Huh? 4, 1 times 4, 14 times will be 56. So it will be how much? 140. Clear to everyone? I mean, we can see by question like that, data will be given to you. That time you can make it a very fast. Clear to everyone? Yes. Okay.
go good 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 go for the next question Okay, C and D, no relation can be established, no relation, very good, 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 good. Okay, have a look, my dear sir. First of all, we are going to, whenever the, whenever quadratic equation is given to us, we will first check sign, whether we are doing it by sign or not. But it is uh, negative, definitely this will be the positive root, okay. Negative, it will, no. Good, sir, definitely we are going to do, sir, negative, it will be positive, negative, this, yes. So definitely what you will do, okay, sir, we will suggest that whenever it is positive negative and positive negative, there is no such a relation we can generate. We cannot say sum of maybe, I mean this root, this root will be definitely greater than this, okay, definitely it is greater than this, but this root will be definitely less than this. So I told you many times that is whenever a quadratic equation is given to you and you just see a bigger number here and you have to split then all that but there will be a simple hit given to you on the base of that sir we know that whenever it is positive positive negative negative their time is definitely we will make a conclusion like this sir also when it is uh, uh, positive negative positive negative or negative positive negative positive there is no relation generator sir also negative negative positive positive so in this case we are we don't have to calculate we know that we expect that it should be huh hope you guys hope it is clear to everyone huh guys it is clear to everyone Okay. Answers are coming, Manoj, Anirban, Ananya, Sandeep, Shalini, Rajkumar, Anushka, okay, Sudansha, Muskan, Kavapriya, oh, good, 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 Akshay, Akshay, Murnali, Asmita, Sam, Raju, Shalini, yeah, different prime number, okay, prime number, okay, good, sir, there is an increment, nothing decrement, series is continuously increasing, 
there is no such an order of multiplication okay they are not increasing too much they are not increasing abruptly so just an addition okay okay how much sir if we see that there is an increment of 7 17 okay how much 9 19 17 19 okay how, okay if i see that it is an odd pattern 17 19 but from this to this okay so it is how much it will be 3 okay so it is 23 it should be 21 but it is 23 that is why we mostly make a mistake by seeing that it is 17 19 then we realize that it should be 21 it should be 23 here and we make a mistake but it is an it is not an odd it is a concept of prime number here huh? so please concept you have everything clear your concept is clear your calculation are quite good but still we make a mistake that is the concept of prime number huh? 17 19 23 how much it will be sir it will be 29 huh? then after that if you check it will be how much 31 so similarly you know the prime number concept it will be how much sir 81 and 9 sir 81 29 sir 0 what is the number that that is how much sir it is option number d in fact they will give the option exactly for 21 also don't make mistake huh? good have a look my dear sir it is a series if we see there is a difference of one but we cannot find we can find definitely okay it is how much it is 40 90 47 but the thing is that if you check that it is continuously increase the multiplication sir there will be some other pattern we are going to find i mean i will tell you what comes in our mind in exam sir can we check it that it is a multiplication so if i multiply with one so it will be 50 minus 1 so it will be this much sir not only this multiplication of 2 how much 98 minus 2 this number sir multiplication of 3 minus 3 definitely this one multiplication of 4 minus 4 definitely this sir it will be how much multiplication of 5 minus 5 okay so yes what we have to do sir 1136 multiplication with 5 we have to calculate great sir we are going to calculate it will be how much 5680 huh 5680 yes and so on yes but i told you that one one two three concepts are similar you have to but you have to take care of a concept when there is a concept of odd number with prime number occurs okay so that time take care huh? there may be a little bit mistake that time hmm? so minus 5 okay it will be how much 5675 Huh? So that was the option number 56B. Huh? So everything we have to mean, we have to sometimes take care of some little, little concepts. Everything is perfect, but we make a silly mistake. Sometimes the concept is that any series, any series, okay, there is a difference of how much? 2 square, 3 square, 5 square, 7 square. What we mostly do, I have seen many friends, okay. They they not, that did not take care of any of this number. They think three, three, five, seven, there is a nine square. But definitely it should be 11 square here, huh? Because of this two, the concept changes from odd number to prime number. Yes. Ah, we have got this mistake. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, yeah, I have seen this question, no? You make a mistake, that's why. Sir, the question is like this, in a fair PQR spend, okay, how much? Four, I mean, uh, 4,500, okay, 4,500, okay. Now the question is that, what is the ratio of share in which they spend? Okay, I mean, sorry, the, the ratio of share in which they spend, spending ratio is this much. How much they have spent this much? Clear? Nothing, okay. It is not the time. Spend this much total amount and spending ratio is this much. What is the difference between the amount spent by P and R? What some people will do, they will calculate, they will calculate the uh, ratio of spending ratio of P, they will calculate the ratio of P and they will calculate the difference, but this is not the better way. So how much, sir, we have 450. I mean, you don't have to write also, but I'm writing. So they have five, seven and okay. It is a ratio method. It is a, whenever ratio or percentage of anything, any, any change, there is no matter how much will be changed. So we are taking particular of that, simple. Amount spent by P and R, okay? So it is P, Q and R. What is the difference between P and R? Sir, four, okay. Done, my dear? Huh? Yes, what is the difference between, yeah. Good, 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 very good. Okay, sir, four ratio. Total ratio is how much? Eight. It is 15. Good. Huh? Sir, 15. Okay, that of how much? Four, five, zero, zero. 15, one time is 15, three times. Okay. 1200. Hmm? Clear to everyone? Okay. Clear? Good. Nirban Das. Okay, Das, huh? Good, good, good. This is memory based question. Huh? You have seen this type of question many times in exam. Hmm? Try to do this. Okay. Make a certain base with respect to something, but do not mix up the data. Manoj Kumar, Anirban, answers are coming. Huh?
Muskan, Ananya, Anushka, Anirba. Okay. Have a look, my dear sir. 16 years ago, granddaughter of Jaya was 12.5% of age of Jaya. Got my dear. But it is how much? I mean, if this is a present situation, if I assume this is a present situation, this point, okay. But 16 years before, what is the age of granddaughter? I mean, of Jaya, it is how much? 12.5%. Every person knows that, sir. 12.5 is nothing but 1 upon 8. It means that if Jaya is 8, if Jaya is 8, I mean her granddaughter will be how much? 1. So 8x and 1x. If I assume that, how much? Add this. Okay. It is how much, sir? Good, good, good. It will be how much, sir? If I assume that Jaya is 8x, granddaughter will be, I mean daughter will be how much? Obviously, granddaughter will be how much? X. But it, I assume that 16 years, sorry, 16 years before. Okay, good. Now, question is that, what will be the present age, sir? It will be 8x for plus 16 for Jaya. And how much, sir? Green daughter will be how much, sir? X plus 16. This is present situation. Good. Now, some people will assume this, like uh, this has 8x or this has x, then they will write, 8x minus 16, x minus 16, 1 above, same condition, same condition, don't worry. Now, the question is that, 8 years hence, okay, now, after this present condition, I mean now, eight, after 8 years, uh, granddaughter age is how much? 25 percentile of her age, okay. So, now, after 8 years, it will be how much? Jaya will be how much, sir? It will be 8x plus uh, 24 after 8 years and daughter will be how much sir x plus 24 okay now the relation is given that how much so grain daughter will be how much 25 means 1 upon 4 so x plus 20 is nothing but 1 upon 4 of how much that is 8x plus 24 good 1 times 2 times okay 2x plus 6 that is nothing but x plus 24 so x will be how much 18 good x is 18 now everything is clear nothing my dear okay what is that then what will be the ratio of jaya's age uh, to her granddaughter's age after six years doesn't matter after anything we have to calculate present age what is the present age sir 18 into this okay calculate this my dear very good and plus 16 okay so we are going to suppose to this it will be uh, it will be 80, 80 plus 64, that will be how much? 144 plus this. Sir, Jaya will be 160, present age of Jaya is 160, good. How much? This will be, it will be 34. Done, my dear. Now, question is that, what will be the ratio of, uh, okay, then what will be the ratio of her Jaya's age with her grain daughter's age after 6 years? So, after 6 years, it will be, 166 to that of 40. Hmm? Okay, so can we cut uh, 4 times, cannot be 2 times, okay, so it will be 83 to that of 20. Guys, it's clear to everyone. Anyone among you having any issue with this question? If it is not understand, I mean, understood anything, okay. I told you that some people will take this as a present condition, I mean, condition at, at x and x, and they will write in 8x minus 16, this minus, and they will make accordingly. Whichever you feel comfortable, question is similar. Clear to everyone? This question is very important, very important. Whenever you find a question from partnership in exam, I always suggest to you guys, don't skip this part, okay? Partnership question is very easy to do in exam, okay? 
once you do, I mean, you read, just write down what you have got, okay? Correct. I mean, there is something to pay focus, else it is very easy. A started a business by investing 16,000, okay? After four months, B joined him with an investment of this much, okay, good. After some more time, C joined with them with an investment of 1,500, good. Okay, total profit received after the end of a year is how much? 17400. And the total share of C is this much. How many months? For how many months B? After B, the business uh, C had joined. Okay, sir, A is, we have A. He is investing 16,000. For how much time? We don't know. B is investing for after four months. B is investing how much? 1200. For how much time? Less than four. We will check it. It will be for a year or this. After some time, C join. C join with an amount of 15,000. Okay. Then the total profit received after end of a year. Means 12 months. After four, means eight months. There is a one, one here, one point I want you to note it down. That's very important at the last, I will tell you that question. Confusing point is that total profit is given as this much, okay? If I assume that this C is investing for X months, how, much, how many months investment is done? That is very important that we are putting. We are not putting after how many months, for how many months investment is done, okay? So three zeros, three zeros will be cut it down. Uh, three times, so three, four times, three, four times, and three, five times. Okay. So it will be 64 to that of uh, 32 to that of 5x. This is a profit share ratio simply. Done profit share ratio. Now question is that, sir, it is given that profit share of C is sigma. So, this ratio is there will be A's ratio, there will be B's ratio, and the C will get how much? 3000. If C get 3000, what will be A plus B? That will be 14,400. I mean, total profit minus this will be A plus B. Now, calculate the ratio, sir. It will be, if I write 5x, C's ratio, how much profit he is getting? 3000. Okay. What is A plus B? This plus this. Okay. It will be 96. Good. 96. What will be the A share profit of A? So 17,400 minus 3,000. It will be 14,400. Hmm? So these two zeros, these two zeros gone. 5, 1 times, 5, 6 times. 6, 1 times, 6, 2 times, 12. And it will be 6, 4 times. 2, 1 times, 2, 4 times. X is how much? 4. This is 4. You calculated value. Listen, my dear, why are students make money? mistake it means that c has invested for four months but question is little bit difficult different okay it says that how many months after b after b joined the business and i mean it says that for how many months after b after b joined the business did he the did c join that means that okay after four months, B join. How many months are left? Sir, we have only eight months left. How many months C has invested? Minus four. We have four. But here exactly we have four. If we got X as three, means X is investing for three months. So it will be eight minus three, five, eight minus three will mean five. So after five months, C join. This is very important. So sir, please say time. Hmm? Very good. Okay. So I will stop here, my dear, today only. Huh? So, yes, I request everyone huh? tomorrow I will bring one complete paper in it. There will be questions, it will be quite good. Okay. Maximum quantity of questions I will bring. You can join my card group if you have any issue, any query, any doubt, my dear. Hello, hi, Nilanjan Roy. Okay. Yes, you can you can join this card group. And one thing, I have an Instagram handle huh? in which mostly I upload some shyri and quotes. Okay. Hmm. So you can join this one also. You can follow me. You can join in case you have any query and doubt. You can ask me personally. Okay. See you tomorrow at the same time. Huh? Sir, ek ho jaye kya? Pehle nahi bataya. Pehle mein bata deta. Actually, we will do one thing. Kal. Tomorrow I will in between the session I will tell you one motivation quote and one shayari. Huh? 
also a little bit faster ha huh? yes that's why it was tomorrow i mean from tomorrow so it will be little bit faster if we have done x quantity tomorrow it will be one more than that see you tomorrow have a good day and best of luck for your future hope you guys like the session